we're going to work on creating a clipping mat. So open Photoshop, you're going to click on new file like normal. You're going to click on default Photoshop size like normal and hit create. Okay, so now you have a blank canvas to work with. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and include a, an example image here because this is my example. Okay, so when you are in Classroom, there are several photos that for you to download. Um, so go ahead and download them and then you can click on your blue and white guy, which is in your bottom left corner of your screen. He is called your finder. Um, and the things you recently downloaded should be here in the downloads. Okay, so we're going to first start with the peace sign of the girl. We're going to drag her over here. Um, once we drag her over, oh, sorry, I'll put her on top of the example. Um, you can hit Command T and then you will see these white squares and blue outline. That means you are able to resize, adjust, rotate, do what you will, okay, with that picture. So I'm going to make it this whole size of my um, canvas and it's a little bit grainy but that really doesn't matter because we're creating a silhouette of her today anyway so you can either hit return on your keyboard or you can go back to the move tool and um, it will take away the blue editing line okay so once I have her here ooh, let's see if I can find an example that does not have the um, sorry here it is Oh, okay. Documents. Is it? It is. Okay. So that you can see through her. Okay. So what I am going to do when I'm on the layer of her is I am going to create a clipping mask and a clipping mask is what will allow you to create a ceiling silhouette. Um, and then to put another image inside that silhouette. So we are going to use the pen tool, which is here. So if you can't see the pen tool right here, okay? If you right click, there's a bunch of options, but today we're just gonna start with the regular pen tool. Uh, if you look at the top, there are additional things that pop up, ways you can customize the tool you selected. So we selected the pen tool, so here are customization options. Uh, make sure it will normally say path when you first select it. Make sure it's on shape. Shape will allow us to create that silhouette and you want the fill color to be black, okay? Because it's a silhouette. So, oops, I did not want to make that dot. Okay, so I'm going to come into my layer. This is my history tool, by the way. If you don't know that by now, click here to go back to all the things you've done and it will allow you to undo or redo. Okay, so using my pen tool, I am going to create anchor points. And anchor points are these little squares that um, outline or help to define what you're working on, okay? So I'm just gonna create anchor points of this girl. If I am having trouble seeing her, um, I can change my opacity down while I am doing the clipping mask so that I can see around her. And you will notice while doing the clipping mask that the shape will look like it's filling in the wrong part. Like you see how the background looks like it's turning black. Um, that's okay. Once you get all the way around her, it'll fix itself. Right now, it's just trying to guess at what you want that shape to be. So don't worry about that. Keep clicking. In the smaller parts, you'll need a lot more anchor points. The larger parts, you can do with very few anchor points. See how she's figuring out what the shape is? Okay, so click all the way around her. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, again, because it's a silhouette. And then make sure you click on the original square that you started with. You'll see it kind of turns blue when I'm ready to connect it. That means that she's all the way around. So now I can go back to my opacity and make it 100% again. And you'll see how it looks more like a silhouette or what you're used to. Um, and if you click on the move tool, it will switch out of the pin and into a, a, solid, a solid shape. Okay, so now that I'm in the move tool, I can grab this silhouette and move it around. Uh, I can also resize it. So if I hit Command T, I can make her bigger or smaller. And I can also turn off the background. So while I'm in here, I don't want to see the pink background anymore. I can click on this eyeball and it will remove my visibility of the, that layer. Okay, 
So I'm going to have her actually a tiny bit bigger. Here she is. Okay. Now to create the clipping mask, what I'm going to do is come into my downloads. Excuse me. Um, from classroom, I should have saved over some flags. It doesn't matter which one. You're going to drag the flag and you'll see the little green plus sign. Let go. And there is the American flag. Just make sure it covers wherever she is. Um, remember to resize Command T and then hit the Move tool for it to, for you to say yes, that's where I want it. Okay. Uh, once you have the flag and the outline, you want to make sure these two layers are right on top of each other. Okay. I'm going to hold the Option key, which is next to the Command key, and you'll see this little square appear with a black arrow. That is what makes the clipping mask. Okay. So I'm saying clip this flag into that shape and then I click and then she will become the American flag will be a part of her shape. Um, if I want to undo it, hold the alt key, hit it again. Um, so it should be the alt option key. And that is how you create a clipping mask. Um, if you want to turn off the background, you can click it here and then that transparent background will be available also.